Hey everybody, it's Jeff from Happy Texas Homestead. I'm out here in my leather shop, which has been turned into a makeshift shop because I can't do leather work because I had rotator cuff surgery. So today we are working on uh, making some hydroponic buckets. Um, cutting the holes in the lids and then um, we'll build the uh, bucket up. I'm gonna put some tomatoes in there, some bell peppers and some jalapenos. So hopefully, hopefully they work. Okay, yeah. The whole three inches and of course that's the one size up from what we do not have. So I put it upside down, made my circle, and I'm gonna try and cut on the inside. As you can see, it didn't go very well the first time. It's gonna be very With well, a jigsaw. With a jigsaw. Cause she likes the jigsaw. We quickly realized the jigsaw was a bad idea. So plan C or B, I think plan B is coming up next. Okay, our plan B is a Dremel tool. How close to the red line? I need at least an eighth of an inch. So what you have on the left is good. Hey everybody, it's Jeff from Happy Texas Homestead. Uh, we had to pause our project because, you know, life happens. So anyway, we're updating our um, hydroponics uh, in buckets. Um, we've got... Uh, well, after I after we cut the holes in the lids, I painted the lids black because they were white. And um, if you know anything about the sunlight and water, it's uh, not good. So basically, it um, helps algae grow a lot faster, and that's bad. So they say. So anyway, I've uh, got two done already. I've done a tomato and a, and a uh, I think a bell pepper. I'll show those to you and then we'll show you actually doing two more, another tomato and I think I have a jalapeno for that. So, so there's the uh, tomato, I'm sorry, that we've, that we've planted already. And as you can see, the lids are painted black, but some of the paint came off when we were uh, drilling the holes. Paint didn't stick very well. And over here is the pepper. Uh, I believe it's a bell pepper. It's a gypsy. A gypsy. This is all they had pepper. in the stores. So, so it's kind of like a green bell pepper. We're going to we're going to go with it. See how it, it works out. Anyway, we are now going to do two more. And show you how to do it real quick. There you go. Go. So, we're going to have to talk probably. 
So we do already have the fertilizer in this bucket and he's just gonna fill it up with water until we get an eighth of an inch in the bottom of that cup. We did learn because we waited a little too long on our plants to get them in these that we have to cut the bottoms a little bit of these cups for the roots because the roots are so long, you'll see in a minute, to get the roots down through this cup. Otherwise they just bunch up in there and I didn't feel and the like plant, that was really all that good for them. So. And the plant will fall over to the side. We couldn't oh, get yeah. it to stay sitting the straight. Plant stay up straight. So that's what we're doing now. Okay, got it filled up. Ooh, and he's very blurry, Craig. You have to wash all the uh, dirt off the roots. And that's what he's doing now. Boomer's not a good helper. As you can see, the roots are extremely long. That's why we had to cut the holes in the back. Oh, we're tangled up in Boomer. Boomer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry for the crazy camera. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Enough playing. Playtime's over. Can you get him to go around that side? when you work with a wife. <laughs> I just pushed it down with one finger yesterday and then pulled the rest of it through. Well, you gotta be careful because they're kind of tender. Something like that. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. And then you put it down into your pot. Your bucket. Your bucket. Pot or bucket. I need the clay rocks. Okay. Next thing you do, you put these little rocks in here. I don't really know what the purpose is. To hold it up and to keep the air, not the air, I'm sorry, the sunlight from penetrating down is because supposed to protect the roots. This is the crack key method. I got this watching Gardening with Mr. Leon. Not gardening with Mr. Leon. Gardening with Leon. Everybody's Mr. to you. Except for <laughs> it me. It is gardening with Leon. But everybody calls him Mr. Leon. There you go. There you go. Voila. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. So it's just like works as soil to hold it. Pause. So as you can see, there are little suckers as Mr. Leon calls them. And those need to be trimmed off. And we should have. Because they are not going to be producers. Therefore, all they're doing is sucking the nutrients in the water and taking away from what could be potential. And we're going to take this on one the off tomato too. plant. This long stem, we were going to take off also. And that should be good for now. 
Once they grow up a little bit more, we can see if we need to take off a couple more. Beautiful. The boomers decide. So, we're doing the second bucket now. Second bucket for today. We did already mix up the fertilizer that will go into this bucket. Should have reported that tumbleweed. <laughs> missed the tumbleweed. Hmm? I missed the tumbleweed tumbling. From the panhandle of Texas. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if I can get Boomer. Boomer, what are you doing? Come here. He wants to go. Boomer likes to go for rides. He needs mama help. Come on. Come here. There you go. There's the big boy. There's the big boy. Can you sit? Boomer. Can you sit? Sick a boy. He's so handsome. He is a handsome boy. Oh, sorry. Hey, uh. We're back to this. I need to put the fertilizer in here. Yes, sir. Before How you much? fill it up, the whole thing goes in there. All right, get out of there. Help her. <laughs> so, for the five gallon bucket. We figured up a little less than a tablespoon of the mineral. Not too full, baby. We already washed off our plant. We take off that bottom leaf before you get the stuff around it. Thank you. Boomer, you don't need to be eating those. Yes, he does. He thinks he does. I don't know if you guys can see the water level. It's just right up there above that bottom of that pot. And the finished product of the jalapeno in the bucket, five gallon bucket of the crack key method. So, there you have it. So, thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and uh, give us a like if you like the video. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.